The topic of this video is called Registering a Business Part 2. In the first part of this video, we went through the different structures of businesses that can be registered. You can either register as a sole trader, a limited company. Under the limited company, you have the private or the public. And the public can only be registered if it has a value of at least 50,000 shares. You can register as a limited liability partnership, which has limited and general partners. Or you can register as a guaranteed company, which is used by the not-for-profit sectors. The limited company registration can be very simple as you can register your limited company in the comfort of your home if you have uh, an internet connection and a laptop or a computer. It should be done carefully though. You might have to seek an accountant's advice before you go ahead. In the next few slides, I will be going over what you will need to register a company, where you can register your company, and other useful details on company formation. You can register your new company at Companies House in the United Kingdom. You go and type in gov.uk and search for Companies House registration. It will take you about 40 minutes if you have all the required details ready. It will cost you 12 pounds to register your company and it can be paid by a debit card, a credit card or a PayPal account. Your company is usually registered within 24 hours. You must register by post if you do not want limited in your company name. When registering your company, you must come prepared with a company name, the address of the company, one or more directors names, and details. If it is just you, that is fine. Details of the company shares, shareholding, and shareholders with at least one shareholder if it's a partnership. A memorandum, article of association. This is a standard document that shareholders create and agree to that outlines the company's written rules. And it is usually very standardized unless you have specific needs. And the detail of anyone who owns a significant interest or control in the company. This means anyone who owns 25% or more shares or voting rights in that company. A memorandum of association is a pro forma which can be used to notify companies else that each subscriber to the memorandum of association wishes to form a company under the Companies Act 2006, agrees to become a member of the company, and agrees to take at least one share in that company. When it comes to naming your company, make sure the name you have chosen isn't trademarked by another company. Check this through gov.uk, typing in Intellectual Property Office. If it is trademarked, you will see it immediately and you change that name. 
when you naming your company you cannot have any rude language in it your company name does not have to be the same as your trading name they can be different your company name can be different from your trading name for you for example your company could be called a group limited and you trade under different names for various products or services that you own example if a part of your company deals in educational products or property services or music you can have trading names for these other parts of your company this depends on your plan picking a name for your company depends on your plan but it can be useful to have a different name from your product or service if you intend to launch other areas of the business in the future your name cannot be same or too similar to another company that is registered that is already registered and your name should be simple to remember spell and say to start a limited company you will need to have a registered business address a registered address will appear on your company's house listing and it is where the official post any post from company's house like corporation tax letters annual return letters will be sent you can use your home address office office address or even a PO box a PO box can be bought from a virtual office provider and it is usually a good option if you want a more formal business address from the start when you use a virtual address the providers will forward any post onto your home or selected address for a fee and you can go there and pick it up every company needs at least one director to start this director or directors will form the initial management team of that company if you're starting a company by yourself you will need to be listed as a director you will also need to nominate a company secretary which can be you if you are the only founder or if you're two you can have one director and the other person the secretary or both directors however one must also be the company secretary you need the details of the shareholders and shareholding rights correct from the let go because if it is not correct from the let go it can cause a painful situation later if you submit this poorly or even incorrectly where you take up or take on an investment and you need to share in the future a new company with only one director and one shareholder which might be you and a hundred percent ordinary shares owned by you will work very well initially however going forward and as the company grows you need to get back to the company's house and get it right properly the shareholders and the shareholding rights must be correct registering as a soap trader is simple 
it just requires you to fill out and submit several forms to the HMRC registering yourself as self-employed. To register as a sole trader, you will need your national insurance number, a home address, and a business name. You will need to register as self-employed with the HMRC as well. A sole trader can trade under their name or a business name of their choice. When you pick your business name, you must ensure it doesn't conflict with an existing trademark. And on any official paperwork, you will need to use both your name and your business name if you pick a business name. However, if you pick just your name, then it will only be your name on any official paperwork. A sole trader can use his or her address, which is fine because it is not made publicly available and a lot of self-employed people operate from home. But if you are going to list your business address on a website or anywhere else on the internet, you can consider getting a virtual office or PO box if you do not have a fixed office that you trade from. So far in this video, we've talked about registering as a limited company, registering as a sole trader, and now we're going into registering as a limited liability partnership. Registering a limited liability partnership is a little bit more complex than most other registrations. And number one, you need to download the LP5 application form from gov.uk and send it by post to company's house if you want to register by yourself. Two, all partners in the company must sign in this form. It will take five days for your limited partnership to be set up. And you will need to send to the company's house a fee of 20 pounds through check or poster order at the same time. This check or poster order must be addressed payable to company's house. And, or as an alternative, you can incorporate the company online if you don't want to do it by yourself through a third party software, which is easily available online. When registering your limited liability partnership company, the minimum founder members must be two. You must have a general partner and a limited partner to start a limited liability partnership company. This cannot be the same person. The same rules apply to selecting a partnership name as with a company, a limited company name. As in, you must make sure the name you have chosen isn't trademarked by another company. Your name cannot be, cannot have any rude language in it. Your company name does not have to be the same as your trading name. They can be different. Your name cannot be the same or too similar to another company's name. And your name should be simple to remember, spell and say. When registering your address under the Limited Liability Partnership, the same rules that applied when registering as a limited company also applies when registering as a limited liability partnership. Only that your registered business address for official mail and public listing must be in the territory where you incorporate initially. This means that if you incorporate in Northern Ireland, or anywhere, 
your registered partnership address must be in that territory in Northern Ireland. You are free to change this after registration, however. In summary, in this video, we've covered how to register your company as a sole trader, limited company, and limited liability partnership. We've talked about where you can register your company, how much it will cost to register your company, the details that you'll be needing to register your company. We've talked about how to choose a company name. We've spoken about setting up a company address, creating a memorandum and article of association, understanding your director's and secretary role and getting shareholding and shareholders rights correct from the beginning. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the notification button and you get notified when we release new content.